Mayor Helps and council members, on June 13th, I stood here and listened to Councillor Isaac say that he will not apologize for trying to save taxpayers' money. This was after I asked him directly to apologize to the veterans community for the insult he made to us when he suggested that the city ask the Ministry of National Defence to pay for the policing fees that go along with Remembrance Day. Now we find out that Mr. Isaac wants Sorry, to... Sorry, I'm just going to just going to interrupt you just for a moment. This is a budget town hall, not an opportunity... Yeah, I'll be getting to that. Okay, perfect. Just not an opportunity to attack one councillor. Nope. Okay. But now we find out that council would like to give themselves a raise of 55%. I guess remembering the price that we pay is paltry compared to what's in your bank account. You all knew what the pay was when you decided to run for office. Now you're showing us that you want more. I've been paying attention to what's been going on down here since June. And trust me, the people in the public works sector of the city deserve a pay raise far more than the city council does. It's not you that comes and cleans up the needles in the school yards. It's not you that cleans up the human feces outside of my apartment building. It's the public works. It's not you that responds to my call at 4 a.m. when somebody has broken into my apartment and is trying to get into my 10-year-old daughter's bedroom. It's the police. I'm very passionate about this. This has directly affected me. I would suggest if the council paid more attention to the issues of Victoria, instead of what's going on in provincial and federal matters, your workload would be much more manageable. I'd also go on to say that I find it interesting that you can find money for proposed pay raise. You fund artists' programs, and as a photographer, I think that is fantastic that you do. You find money for bike lanes. Great, let's get people out there, get them exercising. But not for policing. Not for keeping our citizens safe. In case you need to be reminded, you work for us. It is us that should decide when and if you get a pay raise, and if so, how much. The idea of city council, or any government for that fact, to debate on whether or not they should get a pay raise is ludicrous. Who here would not vote to give themselves more money, let alone 55%? I live on provincial disability, meaning I make approximately one half of what you do a month. I'm bringing up two autistic kids on that amount. I won't say it's easy, but we do it. I go without before my kids do. You said that in a statement that you were hoping to attract a different type of person to run for city council. Well, congratulations. You have. Get used to my face. You're going to be seeing it a lot more. I will be here to champion for the people and someone who will focus on local issues and to keep the council members on your toes and take to task anyone who reaches beyond the limits of their mandate. Nobody held a gun to your head and told you to take this job. You did this of your own free will. No one is making you stay on after your term is finished. If you find the pay unsatisfactory, I would suggest you save the taxpayers even more money and give serious consideration to stepping down before the upcoming by-election so we can save even more money and the job can go to somebody who will truly appreciate it and will work for the money. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next speaker, please.